Hello everybody, it's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. Today we are going to make a fun little treat um, cover for a lollipop. I got these at Dollar General, they're orange creamsicle. We're going to use the Choose Happy stamp set, the Modern Oval Punch, and then our Halloween um, Spells Designer Series paper. So let's go ahead and get started. I did pre-cut or um, fussy cut out some pumpkins from the Choose Happy set just because that does take a while. Um, so I wanted to get that done. But we want to cut a piece of designer series paper here that is one and three quarters by seven and a half. And I'm going to use this gorgeous grape color. So one and three quarters. And I'm gonna cut two because I will be making two at some point. <clears throat> okay, and then we wanna cut these by seven and a half. Okay. And then, um, let's see here. I'm gonna bring out a scrap of the orange color. Oh, and then we wanna cut two, two um, squares that are one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And that's just to make the base just a little bit sturdier for that lollipop, since lollipops can be a little heavy. Okay, and then we still need our trimmer, but we're going to do some scoring first. We're going to take our one and three quarter by seven and a half piece of paper, and we're going to score this at three inches. Sorry, guys, I'm just looking up here really quick. and a half inches okay now we also want to um let's see here let's do this one three inches okay now we want to leave one inch up here at the top so what we want to do is we want to cut like at a diagonal here um to this first or to these score lines here on the bot or in the middle so i'm just counting really quick on my three quarter so Okay, so I believe, I'm trying to think of how the best way is to do this. I'm just going to go for it. And then we're going to use this as our template to cut. So I'm just going to lay this down and make a mark. And then we're going to do the same thing on all the other sides here. Okay, we're going to cut these two at the same time since we started making two. Okay, cut 
that off. Cut that off. And then we need to do this side as well. And this one, since I already pre-cut it, I'm just going to use my paper snips. Okay, so there's our little carriers. And now what we want to do is we are going to, you know what, I think... You know, I think I'm going to pick a different piece of designer series paper because my pumpkins are orange. Let's do this one. Mm, actually, I'm going to... No, we're going to go with that one. Okay, so then we're going to punch two ovals. It was hard to decide because I want to stamp... A sentiment as well and it won't show up on those dark colors okay so we have our two ovals now what we're gonna do is we're going to glue down our our um, little square into the center there okay And then, then we're going to come in with our ovals, and here's our, our pumpkins, and we're going to stamp, I think I'm going to do boo. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to... I used um, Old Olive and then the Cajun um, Craze Stampin' Blends to color in my pumpkins. And then I fussy cut them out. Okay. Then we're going to bring in some ribbon. And I'm going to use some of the gingham ribbon here. Uh, let's put dimensionals on our pumpkins. One's going to have two and one's going to have one. Just like that. Okay. 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 So then I'm going to bring in my hole puncher. Let's do both of these at the same time. I'm going to punch two of the, the smaller holes just like so. Okay. Then we're going to put our ribbon through. And I'm not going to tie a bow. I'm just going to tie a knot because we'll have our little tags. that will glue on the front. Okay. So 
So then I'm going to stick my lollipop through there. Tie this in a knot. Oops, come on. And then I'm going to just cut my ribbon down. Let's do the same thing for this other one. We'll thread this through. up see if I could do it both both of them at the same time there we go okay then we're gonna tuck our lollipop in that ribbon Trim that off. Okay. And then we're going to just glue on our cute little tag. So let's see here. I'm just going to add glue there to the center and glue on our tags. And those are our cute little lollipop holders for a Halloween project. So thank you guys for joining me. Until next time, my creative peeps, I will see you later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And remember, stay awesome. Bye-bye.